Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make sure we capture that I'm not the only one who falls. Thank you. You're <laughs> that we've been walking through the whole winter is nice and packed and nice and hard. As soon as you step off that trail, especially if your snowshoe is going sideways, now you're going to sink. Well, it's an absolutely gorgeous day, everyone. We have the, the sun is, right now it's behind some clouds, but there is some blue out there, so just a gorgeous day, around three to five degrees. Uh, it's actually supposed to continue warming up through the day. It's the perfect day to be out here. We have Renee over there in the front. And, hey. and we're over there. And me. So again, thanks for joining us. Uh, we should have a good time. Plan on uh, cutting down a few uh, dead standing trees. And uh, have a nice little fire. Cook up a nice meal. And just uh, generally enjoy our time at the bushcraft shelter. You guys saw the last video where Sandra and I were here. That bottom uh, bottom log that's rolled into the tarp frozen right into the ice. So we had put some uh, logs uh, perpendicular to it, so that uh, would have prevented it from freezing up. Looks like it's been warm enough where it didn't develop any new ice. It actually looks like it melted quite a bit. But uh, we're going to be doing that going forward. Renee, can I ask for your help? Yes. Just gonna grab the bottom there. Just kind of roll it up. Two. Okay. It works. Yeah. So we're back at the bushcraft shelter. We're joined by Renee. She was uh, with us for part of the build, which was really appreciated. Uh, today we didn't bring a saw, uh, so uh, most of the work is going to be done by axe. So I'm going to be chopping up some trees for uh, a fire for uh, cooking, and also we're going to do a bit of prep work to prepare the wood for our cookses. And uh, we do have some uh, wood left over from the last time we're here, so I don't really need to cut down a whole lot. But uh, we're going to get that prepped up with the axe. Might even build a new tripod. We'll see uh, what the day brings.
Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Supposed to be Okay. What, smaller ones or is well, that enough? We're probably or? okay for now. We'll yeah. see what he says when he comes back because he's gone to get bigger trees, so okay. we'll be okay. Alright, so we've been hauling some branches and and dead standing trees out so we can have our fire. Uh, Renee and I have been gathering mostly small branches. Uh, Mike's gone to get some uh, bigger stuff so uh, we can put on the fire once we have it going. So for today's fire, we're just going to use the old man's beard to start our fire. Usually, this can be a bit tricky because old man's beard does keep some moisture. However, on a sunny day like this, it's been sunny all day, it feels nice and dry. We should be able to get our fire started using only this lichen. I don't, I'm not making a guarantee, but uh, my hope is to get this fire started without using any other tinder then old man's beard. So there's our bundle. We're gonna get a bit more, maybe about the same amount. Uh, a few twigs here and there mixed in with the old man's beard, but that'll only help it out along. So we're gonna bring that over to our fire pit. Once we have our wood prepped up, we're gonna see if we can get our fire going using only this. Well, I'm down to my last two layers, which is just a t-shirt and a really thin shirt. It feels like a summer day. Uh, with all the snow around, it makes for a nice uh, contrast. Oh, this is awesome. What a perfect day. So we didn't bring a saw or a knife uh, for uh, the main work on this uh, trip. I'm going to be using my axe to uh, work with in combination with the uh, ferro rod. So we have a nice fire going. Now we gotta make some bigger pieces to put on there. So instead of using the ax, I'm gonna use these trees. Too big, I can't do it anymore. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, my oh, fault. Oh, oh, I'm gonna oh, try. Nope. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. You did it. I did it. I did it. Put that on. I did it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do this one. It's pretty thick.
No, we won't be able to do Give it all you have. I did. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's refreshing. It's refreshing. Okay, so Renee and I are just going to go down to the spring and grab some water so we can cook our supper. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Spring water. Let's hope I don't fall on the way back. <laughs> it's weird how there's like no snow and then I know. snow here. It's nice down here though. Yeah, beautiful. Those big old trees. Oh there. yeah. No wind either. Super nice.
can't, you can't, you can't see when you're painting it. No. No. I just planted there for the camera. <laughs> you can't lean on it. <laughs> oh, Christ. So, is this a Shaposi G? Oh, no, say that. Yeah. Getting the water. Yeah, it's running pretty good down there. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so, so I bought this little seat pad at a uh, dollar store. I only paid like $1.50 or so for it. Um, it's got reflective material on one side and a little thin foamy on the other side. And I thought I'd try that out today and it, it works really, really well. You, you sit on it and you feel the heat come up right away. Anyways, I think Mike's going to try to steal it from me. <laughs> I want to give it a try because I can't believe it at, at a dollar, a dollar fifty. If it makes that big of a difference, that's pretty yeah. neat. I think I'll be going to the dollar store again this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Give it three seconds. Three seconds? Yep. That is nice. Wow. Toasty it's, buns. It's mine now. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's mine now. <laughs> You're going to have that's to get really up. That's really neat. Man, I gotta get one of those. Hey, it really makes a difference. It's surprising. That's the one thing when uh, when you're sitting down, uh, winter camping, or even in the the fall or early spring when it's cool, uh, if you don't have uh, some kind of insulation underneath you, you really feel a chill coming through that area. <laughs> Your bum bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, that is worth it. Wow. And it packs up really small as you had it yeah. at home. It was it rolls up nice. Yeah, that'll Perfect. definitely be in addition to the toolkit. That's awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Mine now? No. No? I think you should go check on the food there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Going again. Gloves. And you don't have to fill it up to the top there, like only half is good. Say when? Yeah, good. Yeah, 
He already had shrimp, so he only gets three. <laughs> Now we wait. Mm. Such a good meal in the middle of the wilderness mm -hmm. to have a, an Asian noodle soup. Not too shabby. Hey, so this pot has been melting snow for quite a while now. Filled it up twice because it takes a lot of snow to uh, fill up a pot of water. Uh, the reason we did this is uh, we have some uh, white spruce burls that we collected a few weeks ago. And uh, by uh, putting the, uh, the burls in this uh, hot water, it will help release the bark off of uh, the burl and make it easy to uh, work on our cooks uh, at a later date. And we got this tip from a couple of fine ladies on the, they have a really nice YouTube channel. It's a UTE uh, Norway Outdoors. Uh, there's another part to the name, but it's in Norwegian and I do not want to say it incorrectly. So uh, thank you very much for the tip. They have a fantastic website and they provided that tip. So we're going to soak those uh, spruce burls and uh, hopefully that'll get us started on the process of having uh, our cooks. So we got a nice rolling boil. I'm just going to keep flipping it out. As you guys can uh, probably tell, this is a bit of an extremely large cooks that I have planned here. Usually they are, they are much smaller, but I want to kind of do something uh, a little bit different. So it's going to work as a, hopefully a drinking cup and a bowl eventually. I mean, this is a long-term project for us, but this is uh, basically a start. like some kind of mad scientist experiment. <laughs> Be working. Yep. You can smell the bar the uh, oils. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is working great. Hopefully this works out. I'm looking forward to uh, start doing some more elaborate carving. Still got a lot of uh, bark to remove, but uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, project. Things are starting to get uh, dark, so we're going to be packing up. I want to thank you guys for joining us on this little video. We had a fun time here at the shelter, had a nice little bonfire and a good meal. I want to thank Renee for joining us on this trip. It was really fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. <laughs>